Hello there, in this video we are going to see how to upload a large file using .NET as in the backend and then React on the frontend. Um, it will be a pretty simple demo. Um, I wrote a blog post about it. Uh, we are going to go through the blog post and then create the projects. Let's get started. So I have an empty folder. First I will create two folders. Um, one is for uh, .NET and then other one is for Next.js. So first let's go into the .NET and let's copy some stuff. So this is a .NET CLI command. It's dot it just creates a new empty web app. You can come here and then say .NET 2. It creates the file upload and then you see what you have okay it's a pretty basic project and then you can add the nuget package okay so we have the nuget package running just open the vs code and you have a basic project and you have the package included. So the TUS is the library we are going to use to do the large file upload. So TUS is a protocol for handling reasonable file upload. So basically it just um, um, it just stops the um, if, if the files are interrupted it can resume and then mm, and also you can actually upload large amount of files using chunking so it basically chunks and then creates the file for you all the heavy lifting is done for you you basically use the library and then get it going they have a javascript client which we are going to use and then they also have a dotnet client a, a dotnet server implementation so this is the library we are using um, and yeah it's pretty basic to configure and it supports uh, .NET Core. So we added the library now um, and, and let's configure the cores. So go to the configure services that will be available here yeah just add cars the next one is to enable it so um when you configure cars put it before the routing just make sure it's it's just there And the next step is to configure the max body request. This should be the first thing, the first middleware or first pipeline hit. So put it at the top. And what this does is uh, by default, um, HTTP in uh, .NET Core has the size set as 30, me uh, 30 megabytes. It just fixes that for you. Uh, because we are going to deal with large size large files and this is the tools configuration you basically can just go and then put the tools configuration here and inherit all the and to disk store and configuration we are not gonna do processing so I'll just comment it out um, this too uh, this is the event completed um, yeah maybe we can leave this out just to check Uh, 
okay now um, yeah so this is basically the server um, implementation of TUS so what's going on here is uh, we are actually setting the configuration for the twist and we are setting the store as disk store so I have this folder um, in my um, in my local drive at C and twist files this is where our files will go um, so you can go to C and you see there is nothing here um, and I will open it so basically an empty folder and that we pointed that empty folder as the location for our uploaded files and this is the URL in the server for the upload so we will be hitting this URL yeah so the server part is actually done uh, we don't, um, and now let's create the next app Wait, first let's run it, I guess. Okay, it runs. Perfect. Now, go back to the PowerShell and then create the next JS application. We are using TypeScript template, so Next.js will create a TypeScript project for us. I will say file upload. We have a file upload and let's open it up in code. Yes. So um, here we have to add a package called tus JS client. So back to the blog post yarn add to so okay we have a toast.js client added and let's create a components folder and create the component called file upload and now just copy this and paste it so what's going on here is we are using the upload from the tooth client and we are instantiating the first um, file on 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 the file change. So the file change is uh, added here on the um, input file. So whenever there is a change, we are just taking the first file and then creating a upload instance of it. And the upload uh, the endpoint is set to uh, files. That is the um, URL endpoint we gave here and our server is running on localhost 5001 um, and yeah these are the retry, the retry delays some progress information so this is on success we'll put like success um, Okay, 
so um, we will also log the percentage of the upload and see how that works so first let's run this So we have a <coughs> file upload component. Let's go to the index page and we can remove most of this, I guess. I'll probably leave the footer and I added the file upload component to the index page now let's go to localhost 300 3000 yeah we have a input which says choose file and I have an ISO image which is around 2 gigabyte it's Ubuntu ISO image and you can see the progress happening here the the chunks are slowly sent and then you see the percentage progress and if you see the file here is the chunk start file the metadata and the file the actual file is added here okay the file is done and the upload is completed. This is actually an ISA image, but to um, so if I say dot ISO and open it up, you can totally see that. Ah, okay, it's, it's, it's a proper file. It's just that um, to handles it as a file. It you can uh, infer the metadata and then do what you want with this file once the upload is completed. Uh, to support just the chunking part and also the uh, and also the upload part, it handles. It's basically the protocol implementation, as I said, as I said before. Um, yeah, so we have a React app which is like uploading. A two gigabyte file uh, the chunks and we have a server which receives the chunks and and stores it in a in a in a folder so um, there is also few other options because uh, to disk store implements i2 store so you can actually come here if you and check out um, documentation. I um, you can actually implement your own storage. Um, all you have to do is implement this um, i2 store. Just implement these four functions, and you have your own to store. You, you, you can decide what you are going to do with it. You can put it in Minio, you can put it in S3 storage or Azure storage. It's up to you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I will add the blog post link and also the repo link um, in the description of the video. Okay, see you guys. Bye bye.